I can't tell you how much I hope Richard Dawkins or Sam Harris gets a hold of this next one and just has a field day with it. Pat Robertson is going to give advice about atheist co-workers. This is Sandra who says, I work with an atheist and at one time I thought I could witness to her and bring her to Jesus. She gets openly hostile at the mere mention of God. She gets very angry just hearing the word God. Should I just abandon the idea of being a positive influence on her and just let her perish? I don't know if you're dealing with something that is demonic or something is deeply ingrained, but I mean, to be that openly hostile to the word God, something is this, this something beyond normal Some human anger. experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something has happened and she associates God. Maybe she had an abusive father, uh, somebody who uh, raped her and then acted like he was, you know, preaching to her from the Bible. You, you just never know what's going on in somebody's childhood. The reason why people today, in the year 2014, are atheists is not because there's some sort of deficiency or defect in our lives or something has gone wrong along the way that led us to say, curse you, God, I blame you for my bad luck. No, the reason why we are atheists, the reason why we are secular, the reason why we don't buy into your religious dogma and your Bible and your Jesus and your Muhammad and your and your Buddha and your bullshit is because of the internet and because of reading and because of having answers at our fingertips via Google. We're not religious for intellectual reasons. They they are still living Pat Robertson is still living in the nineteen fifties and the nineteen forties where if somebody on the block wasn't religious, they were a bad boy or a bad girl who were openly hostile to the people they were supposed to be uh, deferential to, the, the, the teachers and the parents and the authority figures who told them, well, now let me tell you the story of Jesus. Jesus is your God, and he's the one who gives us our moral code, and the Bible is our holy book, and you're supposed to believe X, Y, and Z. And, you know, the one guy who might have been a rebel and was against it, it's like, oh, something's wrong with him. Oh, he must come from a bad family. He must have some serious mental issues and psychological problems. That's not the case today. And even back then, I would argue that that guy is still thinking more outside of the box than your dumbasses, which are blindly following an authoritarian leader as if that person actually represents the truth which authoritarians almost never represent the truth. The only time authoritarians are telling the truth is when it's science authoritarianism, which is just after you do all the studies and get the facts, and they say, no, no, this is right, and we can tell you for sure it's right. But I mean, when people today think that, oh, you're an atheist, something must be wrong with you, that person is admitting that they're an idiot. They're admitting that they're a moron. They're admitting that they're working off of this old model of how people are supposed to think and act. So I think Pat Robertson has it exactly backwards, you know? What I think is, if somebody's religious and, like, a fundamentalist, so they're really strong about it and shit, then I think, oh, wow, what went wrong in your life? You certainly don't believe it for intellectual reasons, because it's not fucking intellectual. It's crazy. So something must have went wrong in your life that led you to that. What happened? Did you get your heart broken? Did you, you know, did uh, your parents hate you? Were you abused? Are you in jail? I, I mean, what happened to make you go to that extreme? Atheists and agnostics and secular humanists, they're just regular people. They're regular people who evaluated the evidence and said, that's not convincing, but this is convincing. What's so hard, what's so wrong with saying, I don't know? I don't know why people have such a, a, an issue with saying that. Well, in our generation, people really don't, but in Pat Robertson's generation, it's like they needed some sort of intellectual crutch where they could lean on it and go, oh God, something's really going wrong. I gotta lean on this thing here, this abstract thing that is my religion to make me get through this. And it's a sad thing, man. It's a sad thing. And the fact that the woman asked the question, like, well, it's such a condescending question. Well, I guess I should, should I just let her be damned and perish in hell forever because she doesn't want to be religious? No, stop looking down at your atheist co There's nothing to look down at. She's just living her life for sure. And maybe the only reason she's getting mad is because you're shoving your religion down her throat. Imagine if the roles were reversed and the atheist was trying to push it on the Christian. 
Oh my god, she'd be outraged. How dare you try to push your beliefs on me? Oh my god, are you some sort of dictator? This is terrible. I hate it. It makes me feel weird. Stop being a bigot against Christianity. That's how they react. But they act like it's normal when a Christian pushes their beliefs on an atheist. You know, the atheist was probably mad because this woman every day is like, have you found Jesus yet? And it's just condescending bullshit. It's like, no, have you found a book yet that you can read that gets you out of your, you know, ridiculous Bronze Age belief system? 